her spores. Nigerians see Wahala. Hmm. Islamic group Mieti Hala reveals why Muslim scholar Gumi keeps throwing attacks on Wiki. See what they uncovered. And this will shock you. Welcome back to Prospect Channel X TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The national president of Mietihala Katuhuri, Adulai Ibelu, DJ, has responded to Gumi's recent assumption that Abuja belongs to Northerners and only a Northerner and a Muslim should be the FCT minister. DJ suggested that Gumi's statement was a warning to the FCT minister against contracts or constant demolition in the territory. In an interview with the son, DJ expressed his opinion that Gumi is straightforward and vocal when he observes something amiss. He stated, Ahmed Gumi is an elderly man, a malam, who knows what he's doing. As I said earlier, Nigeria is one and it is for everybody. Body days speculated that Gumi's remark about Abuja being for Northerners might be linked to an issue concerning the, the central mosque. As circulated on social media, he suggested that Gumi's outspoken nature is aimed at making people, particularly the FCT minister, yes, on Wiki, understand that demolition properties indiscriminately is not the solution. According to Body Joe, Gumi is known for being false rights and vocalizing his opinions to ensure clarity on his stance. He explained, Malan Gumi is a person who, can, who can't close his mouth if he seeks something that is not right. He will talk to, talk to you and make everybody understand his position. The time Wike was appointed FCT minister, nobody said anything or opposed him. And the time he talked about the mosque and demolishing them, everybody started saying something about him. Body Jerry's remarks highlight the ongoing discussions and debate surrounding Gumi's statement about Abuja's ownership and the qualifications for the FCT minister position. The varying interpretations of Gumi's comments underscores the complex dynamics of religious, re regional, and political sentiments within Nigeria. The dialogue reflect the diverse perspectives and concerns within the nation, particularly regarding issues related to governance and religious inclusivity. The national president of Mieti Hala, Katuhuri Adulai Bello Body Day, also, dis also sent a serious warning to the Yoruba agitator. Sunday Igbo. He said, You are released to come and start your madness again. Okay. The national president of Mieti Hala, Adulai Bello Body Day, has dismissed the notice given by Sunday Igbo to Fulani headers to quit Yoruba land. Body Joe insisted that. The Nigerian constitution has given every citizen of this country the right to live in any part of the country and pursue his or her own legitimate endeavors. Speaking during an interview with the son, the Mieti Hala leader claimed that some people were trying to use Sunday Bowu to heat up the, the situation. But the Joe urged President Bola Tinubu to use security agencies to call Igbo to order. According to him, Nigeria has a constitution which gives every citizen the right to live in any part of the country.
to pursue his or her own leg legitimate endeavors. So, Sondigbowu was released to come and start his madness again and start giving some people quick notice. It seems that some people are trying to use him. If he were from another country, he could have been ignored. But since he is a Nigerian, he is supposed to he's supposed to know that Nigeria has a constitution that says everyone, everybody has a right to stay anywhere in the country. However, if that person commits any crime and security agencies are supposed to arrest and charge the and charge him to court. I don't know the reason Sunday Boo is acting like this. He wants to be a Yoruba hero. He should realize that the current president is a Yoruba man. Yoruba have very intelligent headers and they will not act the way Igbo is acting. I call on the president to use the security agencies to call Igbo to order. The Fulani have lost so many lives and property in that area. Okay, so he also complained about this very one. Sondigbo, I no say they don't set them free now. He says, see, they don't set you free. You won't begin to pursue our people again. Don't they give them quick notice because they then they keep people from our area. See, let me tell you, Nigeria belongs to everybody. <laughs> he said Nigeria belongs to everybody. So for that, Igbo has no right anywhere or anyhow that the, the Nigerian government should talk to Sunday Igbo. Though Nigerians have reacted to <laughs> Nigerians have reacted Nigerians, they are not happy with the statement. They said, if you want Sunday Igbo to be conscious, please, you can as well conscious your people to stop killing, you know, their people in their region. So guys, What's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please.